A crying room has been set up in Spain's Madrid. The sign at the entrance says enter and cry, while I too have anxiety signs glow in the room's wall. Welcome to La Loreria or the Crying Room. La Loreria or the Crying Room in Madrid is an initiative aimed at removing the stigma associated with mental health. The Crying Room even has a phone in one corner with names of the people one can call and a psychologist's number. It's a step to assure people that it's okay not to be okay and crying out to release mental tension, anxiety and stress. The crying room has stirred a discussion around how shedding tears and letting it all out could help a person's mental health. Across the world, crying is often associated with weakness and vulnerability. People are discouraged from crying and are especially told to not let out tears in public. However, crying is more common than you think. According to a Tilburg University study, in the US, women at an average cry 3.5 times a month and men 1.9 times a month. But why do people cry? Humans have three types of tears. Basal tears, reflex tears, and emotional tears. Basal tears are protein-rich antibacterial liquid secreted by tear ducts to keep your eyes moist. Reflex tears are triggered by irritants such as smoke, onions, or wind. Reflex tears are there to flush out these irritants and protect the eye. And there are emotional tears, triggered in response to a range of emotions. These tears contain a high level of stress hormones. So when people talk about crying, they are referring to emotional tears. Emotional tears are also a response to stress, a situation when it becomes hard for a person to cope with specific demands or events. Despite the stigma attached to shedding emotional tears, it is quite beneficial to have a good cry when things go downhill and you are struggling to cope. Here is why you should not shy away from crying when things get too hard. Believe it or not, there are actually many benefits of crying. Number 1. Crying has a soothing effect on people. Once you get the emotional sludge out of your system through tears, it is easier to calm down and think clearly. The second benefit of crying is that it helps a person relieve pain. According to research published in Frontiers in Psychology, crying releases oxytocin and endorphins. These chemicals make people feel good and may also ease emotional and physical pain. Many researchers believe that crying could help relieve or reduce stress. As per studies, emotional tears are a response to stress and contains a number of stress hormones. Crying out helps that stress build up to relieve. Crying helps kill bacteria and no, we did not make this up. A 2011 study conducted by the National Center for Toxicological Research at Jefferson, USA shows that tears contain a fluid called lysozyme. This fluid kills bacteria and keeps the eyes clean. According to the same study, lysozyme is such a powerful antimicrobial that it could even reduce the risk of bioterror agents such as anthrax. So if life is giving you too many onions to chop, just shed those tears and feel better. Prioritize your health and wellness. Tune into Showfit for more health and wellness related news, information, and techniques.